Hi guys, this is the guy shouting out from the Bronx. I'm chilling, ain't doing too much anything. Uh, today is Saturday, 5.47 p.m. And um, what am I doing? Nothing. I'm sitting here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on my dinner line a little bit. I'm going to cook a little bit. You know what I'm going to cook today? See this camera? I'm going to push it back a little bit. Because what will happen is that it'll cut off my head. And then, you know, yeah. So no, <laughs> what I'm going to do, actually, today I'm going to cook my specialty, Sikai Sweet and Sour Barbecue Sticky Chicken. And all, all it is, basically, is when you, you deep fry chicken, you deep fry it in a double crust, and then you take a barbecue sauce. I'll usually, sometimes I'll buy my barbecue sauce. Sometimes I'll make it homemade, depending on exactly how I feel. And, and then um, I'll just, just, uh, I'll just, Put that, you know, put the hot, put the hot so um the barbecue sauce over it, and I put it in the oven, bake it for 30 minutes, and there you go. It's good. It's so good. But um, listen, I want to talk. Actually, I want to talk about two or three things. One thing I want to talk about. I'm gonna name this video Sika uh, just random thought, random important thoughts. Probably not. I'll name it something else. But no, look, you have to understand something. The first issue I want to talk about right now. I have a girlfriend, and she's a really good friend, as what I thought. I thought she was. But do understand something. If you are going to be a friend, or if you're going to, you know, if you're going to partake in a situation with somebody, if you want to go out or do any, anything for that matter, please be consistent. Now, I realize that not everyone can conduct themselves like I can. That's not really what I'm expecting. I mean, I can't hold everybody to the high level that I, or to the low level, whatever. I can't, I can't expect everyone to conduct themselves the way I conduct myself. But I do expect for you to act to be consistent. Look, if I call you, or if we, if whatever we're doing, whatever situation we're in, if you're one way the next and the other way the next, and it's completely, and then it completely stops, and that's bringing issues in our life. There has to be some type of consistency concerning in our friendship. Some type of consistency. Because I was reading, um, one of my Facebook family told me, consistency means truth. And with truth, you know, if you don't have the truth in any relationship, may it be business or interpersonal relationship, then it's, not, then it's not the real deal. Then you need to leave from it. A person that's not, con in my opinion, a person that's not consistent concerning any relationship, basically, they have ulterior motives. Or that, or that whatever relationship that is, that's not their true motive or that's not their true agenda. Because with consistency means, mean it, it is truth. It's truth of self. When you're consistent, you're doing things, you're doing things or you're conducting yourself as you always would conduct yourself or do, or do whatever you're doing. To pretend and to be out there and, and, and to act one way the next day and act one way the next, in between, in between those two days, you're faking a funk somehow, some way. And you need to stop. Seriously. So my only thing, whereas, I got kind of pissed off at it today. Um, kind of got, I got kind of peeved. Because we had plans, uh, not plans this weekend, but I'm depending on her for um, a, situation that I, a situation that I need concerning my business. And, you know, we scheduled something for yesterday and I didn't get not yesterday but the day before yesterday and I didn't get a call letting me know that you know I'm not gonna be able to show up or things like that I'm like okay fine maybe they're busy didn't get a call today either you know what I'm saying and I'm just like you know what what she's doing for me I really do need for my business and I'm like you know what I'm not gonna depend I'm not gonna I'm not gonna depend on her no more you know what I'm saying but I, I left a I left a voice message on her phone I said you know what do you understand something I don't even want to see you right now what you need to do for me to help me in this dinner business, um, just forget about it. I'll find another way to get it done, definitely. But do understand something. If you're going to continue to be my friend, I need for you to be consistent. Um, and, and, you know, not only just be consistent, but, you know, I come from the South. Maybe y'all Northern folks don't understand what that means concerning, concerning just common decency. Not common decency. That, that's going real deep. But just having home training. If you're not going to be able to show up for any situation, or if you're not going to be able to um, conduct a favor for someone, then basically then just call, just be woman enough or man enough, and say, look here, 
I'm not going to be able to do what I said I was going to do, but we can schedule it for another date or I'll find another alternative or say, bitch, boo, bye. I'm not going to do it. I don't change my mind. I'm sorry. And then that'll basically give me a way to, to basically reacclimate and say, okay, well, that's cool. I understand it. Thank you for being honest with me. I'm going to have to find another way to get, you know, to get this done. Grown folks are constantly trying to play grown folks games, but they don't, but they're children. And that's my thing. If you're going to play grown folks games, like the, like the games that I play and the games that I play in as a grown folk, um, you need to conduct yourself as a grown folk because the two, the two just don't match. You know what I'm saying? You'll be playing childish ass games and you know, y'all know me, I'm a diva. You know, I always conduct myself with the utmost professionalism, especially when it comes to my clients and when it comes to my business. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that I expect that from other people because that's just not the case. I can't get that all the time. But one thing I do expect for you to do, if you're dealing with me, especially when it comes to my business or even my interpersonal relationships, you need to be consistent. Bitch, I don't care. Whatever you say off the phone, when you get on the phone with me, conduct yourself in a certain way because I'm going to conduct myself in a certain way to make you feel comfortable, to make you feel loved, to make you feel, you know, to basically to make you, to let you know, I got you, boo. I got you. And you can depend on me for whatever I say I'm going to do. I think that's the point. People are just not fucking dependable at all. I, whatever happened, whatever happened to the dependent, you know, the, the dependability that our mothers and fathers used to depend on, in, you know, in the black community, in the black and Latin, Latino community. Whatever happened to that? It's like we don't have it no more. These kids that are growing up these days, they have no home training. They just don't. It dep I guess it depends on what region of the world you grow up in. Because I grew up in the South, and I, and I know I keep, I keep reiterating this all the time. Yeah, you all, y'all always say, Sakai, you always say that because it's true. These northern ass folks, they don't have no home training. If I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to yell. I'm going to do it. Now, I done left, I done left her ass a message. She probably don't call me back and say, well, what's wrong? What do I do now? You're not consistent. If I ask you for something, especially if I, if I think enough of you to involve you in my business, I think enough of you, because most people I don't. Then that means I that that means that I that I consider you up there. Then you should have to you know basically you should do what the fuck you say you're gonna do. If you're not gonna do it, then call and let me know what's going on. That's just how I feel about it. I could be right or wrong, but consistency consistency is a motherfucker, especially when it comes to interpersonal and business relationships. Be consistent, bitch. Now not even now that's not concerning moods or whatever else. Because I realize you know some of y'all have us be have PMS and. You know, us men, we have a version of PMS half the time. So that's just, that, you know, that's a whole different, you know, you can be perfect. Like that. That's not what I'm asking. Definitely not that. But um, my mama always used to say, if you're going to play grown folks games, act like a grown folk. And some of y'all need to act like grown folks. you playing playing grown folks games just like, you know, this is not Monopoly, baby. This is real life. I was going to talk about something else, but I forgot about it. No, but I want to get that off my shoulders, and I want to see if y'all going through the same thing, because that really does, that's one of my, I don't have many pet peeves, y'all. I take people as I get them, because I love everybody, but that's one pet peeve I have that ruffles my feathers so bad. Nigga or niggress, if you say you're going to do something, then do it, and if you can't do it, then call a bitch and let me know why you can't. Even if, send you, even if you don't listen, if you don't want to call because you don't want to disappoint me, then send a bitch an email. Say, look here, Sakai, I'm sorry, but I can't. Have the common decency in the home training to let a bitch know what's going on. Because I would do the same thing. I, you, you can't get me to lie or fear nobody. I'm like, look here. I'm sorry, I can't do it. But at least I gave you, the, at, least I gave, at least I had enough audacity and I thought enough of you to simply say, let me get this bitch a, a call or an email. And let her know I ain't forgot about her. I ain't forget about I ain't forgot about you, boo. I'm here, but I can't do it. Not at this time. Not because girl, I got bills and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's called that's good home training. That's just a good person. Half of y'all were raised in a barn, look like. Not half of y'all. You know. If the shoe fits, wear it. If it don't fit, 
to take that shoe off because it's going to hurt your foot. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.